And here is the draw for the women's singles. As you can see, Carolina Marin already through with a 22-20-21-9 win over Lena Christofferson. And she will be the opponent for the winner of this match against Han Yu and Gregorio Tunjung. And up top, of course, still An Se Young, Ratchanok Intanon, Wang Ji and Porn Hui Cho Chu Wong in the mix. And that An Se Young, Ratchanok Intanon match, of course, the big, big match. The third seed against the fifth seed. And really, that's going to be one to watch. And here is Han Yu, the world number 11. And a good rise these days, up from 20. Semi-finalist last year at this very tournament, the Indonesia Masters. And listen to the roar from the home fans for Gregoria Mariska Tunjung, the world number 14. Already bettered her second round appearance at this event last year. Of course, with Jonathan Christie going through in the men's singles. That means that for the first time this year, actually, we're seeing home players at their home open do very, very well. Didn't happen in Malaysia and it didn't happen in India. 2-2, two, two. it's all set up. And the last one, Tunjung won in three games. Could be a classic. Very interesting stat that is actually that in the India Open, there were no Indian players in the quarterfinals for the first time since it started in 2008. And the Malaysia Open, a very similar situation. So it is good to see home players in front of their home fans here in this third event of the year. Han Yu, 23 years old, born in Fujian, China, ranked 11th in the world, has been one rung higher. Second round exit in Malaysia and India for her. This is what she's done so far. Shang Yi Man in 34 minutes, and Sanya Newa in 29 minutes, hasn't dropped a game all week. Solid, confident play from her. And Gregoria Mariska Tunjung, 23 years old, Monagiri in Indonesia. Currently ranked, much like Han Yu, just one place behind her highest ever ranking. Both very versatile players. And this is Gregoria's road to the quarterfinal. Sung Sho Yun, 63 minutes, dropped a game there. And then Haping Zhao, fourth seat, taken out straight games in 49 minutes. Umpire for this one, Daniel Zuraidi. And our service judge, Mansure Jachian. Again, of course, all these players warming up for that Paris 2024 qualification period that kicks off in May. Will run for a year to April of 2024. And all the results within that year-long period will try and, well, will definitely contribute to the selection of the 172 players that will make it to the next Olympics. So this first part of the HSBC BWF World Tour, the Asian leg, very much a warm up before that all kicks off in May. But right now, of course, with these two players, it's all about the semi-final against Carolina Marin, who was in pretty good form against Lena Christofferson earlier today, I can tell you. 22-20, 21-9. Solid stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Omarai Han Yu China. And on my left, Korea Marisa Ninja, Indonesia. Korea Marisa Ninja, Susu, Low Ball, Please. Oh, that's a good opening point for Tunju. One, love. Just two points played, and again on quarterfinals no. Friday, high quality of play right from the start. with an early lead and Han Yu of course have to remember even though she was ousted in the second round at the Malaysia Open and the India Open she was ousted by Yamaguchi in India 21-14 21-17 and by Tai Tzu Ying in Malaysia 21-10 21-13 hasn't had the best of luck with draws Han Yu so looking in this third event make it to the semi-final possibly the final itself oh beautiful drop shot from Tunjo creeping in already behind you that should have been a winner four two down turn drink serve another beautiful drop shot well that's what's really giving her this lead at the moment excellent drop shot here Five, two. are absolutely loving this. Well, they've started at a pretty decent pace, has to be said. Very nice return from Tunjun just before that Six. shot. There. Six. 
Well, that's gone long. So far, it's been a pretty well marshaled game from both players in terms of unforced errors. Both looking up for this task. Oh, it's another amazing drop shot, and it was inviting the kill right now. Gregoria Tunjung has definitely got the advantage with her net play. She's pulling out some quality drop shots. And you tries it. It's wide. And that three point lead still intact. Wonderful defending from Tunjung. So seven nine. Both players, are, both players are bearing up their shots well. Using the full length of the court. Wonderful cross court. Han Yu is being forced into that backhand side, oh. preferring to go with the round the head as they do. And the third shot just cut it the other way. Pinpoint accuracy. Taking the lead as we approach the mid game interval. Another wonderful shot that just viciously dipped as soon as it passed the net. Right on the floor, almost impossible to pick up. Oh, 
That was great coverage from Hanyu. So 11-10 into the mid-game interval, and so far, really bright sparks from both players. Gregoria Tunjung definitely rising to the occasion of being a home favorite in the semi-final. Well, she actually looked like she just pulled up a little bit there. There you go. Oh, I just think it was a, a knock. Hope she stays in it, but as you can hear, the home fans, yeah, the historic sign, very much behind her. And she, as I said, seems to be rising to that occasion. And you, meanwhile, has, well, she's already fought herself out of a couple of tricky situations. She's been behind and is definitely feeling the impact of those drop shots. Please. She's got to take control of the points if she wants to counter those. There's another couple. Unlucky. Well, as I said, bright sparks from both players and pretty evenly matched. Look at it, bigger scheme. Good kill from Tunjun. And you getting up slowly from that point. You've just got to remember, when you're playing a player like Gregoria Tunjung, you just have to be so aware of the net. She's just always punctuating her points with these really deep drop shots and then following them up with kills and drives. So you end up moving around the court a great deal. Smart player. I guess you could say the same thing for most Indonesian singles players. Great movement from Tung Jun. The way she bounced back onto the baseline and then unleashed another one of these drop shots. Look at that, it's just a hop, a skip and a jump and boom. She can play them from anywhere. Oh, the net tumble falls the way of Hanyu. Well, we all witnessed a wonderful men's singles match earlier between Jonathan Christie and Lakshar Sen, and now we're treated to almost a similar quality in the women's singles. First time one of the drop shots hasn't worked. She's very upset about it. A glaring error from all the play that we've seen from her so far. Just took her eye off the shovel. So 14-13, a good chance here for Han Yu to build a lead perhaps. Oh, 
Hats off to Grigory Tudjuk for shots of that nature. I think that was just almost impossible to retrieve. 14 all. Left that. in very difficult shot to gauge backhand push right at the net wow. very quality shot there important point to win as well 16-14 players pushing each other around the court. Seven, three, one, oh, and then it's quality from Han Yu. Almost this entire game has been played in the front court just ahead of the net. And that was a full dive. 16 all. Oh, interesting moment. Both players going for the shuttle, and all Gregorian wanted to do was hand it back anyway. Coming, the return from Han Yu was just very high. Didn't have much choice. Right into the hitting zone of Tun Jung, who finishes it cross court. So that narrow lead established again. Oh, great shot from Han Yu. Stretched. Bear didn't expect that to be coming back onto the backhand side. point for her to win 1917 in fact it would have been 1916 instead at 1718 getting into this business end of the first game and Han Yu knows how crucial this point is
doesn't get it. You have to be very brave to enter into a net exchange with Gregoria and Mariska Tunjung. Falls her way again. 19-17. That's a clinical winner from Han Yu. Game points for Tunjung. Well deserved based on her exceptional net play in this first game. Hanyu's done well, which is going to have to do even better right now. Oh, that's wide. That's one court back. Oh, that's another great drop shot. Go! Oh. That's such a great point from Tunjun. She needed to deliver it, she did 21 19. The quality of some of these shots. Look at that. Han Yu, as I said, came up against Akani Yamaguchi in the Indian Open, Tai Tzu Ying in the Malaysian Open, and now here in the quarterfinals at the Indonesia Masters, she's come across someone who's playing amazing badminton at the net. Well deserved, 22 minutes it took up. I think the only option here for Han Yu is she's going to have to try and avoid the net as much as she can. Some of those angles that she was facing, you got to feel for her. Tough oppositions in the first three events of the year. Meanwhile, Tunjun could be adding. That she knows she's got a source of points at the net. She's also been pretty handy at the outright cross court winners. And now, of course, she has not only the home fans behind her, but she has one game in the bag. World number 11 against the world number 14. You couldn't ask for a better matchup. Second game. Well, that's been called out. And there's no challenge coming. even for the drop shots and she's been playing that was ambitious no. she took that just behind her
again almost exclusively playing to midcourt. So I did say that probably the only strategy Han Yu had left was to completely avoid the net. She's done that well in these first three points. That's to not allow herself to be drawn in to the game that Tunjun wants to play. And as you can see, Tunjun is constantly drawing her in. That was a good idea. Didn't work out for her. in and that's exactly what I was saying are you playing for the baseline and that's how it's going to work for her as well 4-2 leads in the second Hanyu takes a three-point lead. Five, well two. needed right now. Oh, it was close though. Tindrin, such an expressive player. <laughs> you can just see it written all over her face how close that was. from Tun Jung, she was really put in a position there. Han Yu's playing to behind her. She's still coming through. That's so high. I've just called out. Well, I think Han Yu may have found a source of points. Forcing Tunjing into playing the bigger, more expansive game. That's another great drop shot. Oh. When it comes to the net play, she's had Han Yu on the floor three or four times. That was just hijacked. Well intercepted. Challenging. But looking at the replay, it is clearly out. 7 3. 
and however it might look to us watching, the points are falling the right way for Hanyu in the second game. That's gone long. Should have been killed off, and it was. Eight four. And Han Yu looking a little bit more relaxed now, now that she's found a suitable strategy. In that first game, she really did look at odds and ends as to what to do with this devastating net play that was coming her way. That's gone long as well. 5-8 now, and while she is in the lead, she's going to have to watch eight. those lengths. Oh, there's another one of those angle drop shots. Oh, finally, she gets a win Can at the net. Nine, five. Just in the right place to kill that off. That's gone wide. So 10-5, better news for Han Yu. We approach the second mid-game interval. And she goes into the break, 11-5 up. That was a much more solid performance from her. Try to avoid the net as much as possible. And when she was drawn in, <laughs> she was made sure that she was in the right place at the right time to finish off some of those shots. Well, could this be the start of the comeback? Definitely looking stronger in this second game. So, second half, the second game. Mistake. So service back with Tunjung, and she's by no means out of it here. A good run here. She might be on her way. Get drawn into net play with her. That's all we can say. Look at this. Seven eleven. Oh, that actually looked like it was going out for a while. Tundra could have left that. There. 
instead she left herself very open. 12 7. 16 18. That's an unanswered drop shot which we haven't seen so far. Our new still hanging on to the six point lead, which is good enough at this stage. It allows for points like that. Even if they just alternate points from now on, it's still going to be second game win for Han Yu. And a third game decider unlocked. It's another great drop shot from her. 14-8. So this is the best opportunity we've seen so far for Han Yu. Backhand kill makes it 16-8, and it's a very different second game for her. <laughs> well, I was expected, I guess, 17-8, running away with the second game. A straight winner for Han Yu. Pounced on that serve. It was quite weak. Ah, that's why. Good thing she left it. Just about to set up a return. 19-8. That's wide as well. So, 12 game points. And as we suspected, even though there's a challenge being called, I don't think she's gonna get this. No, she's not. <laughs> so the 12 game points. Now ready. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. She took that from behind her. She was facing the other way. And she still managed to make equality. 21-8. And now it's game on. I should really say match on. But this third and deciding game, where well, we've seen brilliance from Tunjung in the first. We've seen brilliance from Han Yu in the second. And now it's going to be a battle of wits. Look at the quality of that. Wow. Battle of wits to see who's going to come out on top and get that semi-final spot against Carolina Marin. The quality of the shot making that we've seen from both ladies today is really out of this world. Sisi arahnya bagus, sisi arahnya bagus. Ya, sama rubah arahnya, boleh arah rubah arahnya, boleh arah. Okay. Ingat, ingat satu ingat ya. 
Now the big question, as I said, is in this third game, which of these players is going to win the battle at the net for a start? We've seen some much better replies in terms of drop shots from Han Yu, of course the standard quality from Tunjung, but we've also seen some much bigger play from Han Yu. Including some nice winners down the line, and also the ability just to hold Tunjung closer to back court, which helps her a lot. So she did really well, as I said, in avoiding the net exchanges that she was just automatically getting drawn into. Here we go. Change goes her way to love. Ah, oh, nicely varied by on you. Three love. Three love. When it counts. Chinese world number 11 is proving she has what it takes. Oh, that's white. No challenge coming. But it was very close. Three. Now those drop shots from the first game that were just of Amazing quality now failing a few more times for Tunjung. Always have to credit her for that first game. That was just brilliant at the net. But now Han Yu looking like she might know what to do. That's very wide. Four, five, five, one now. One. As I said earlier, I wonder if third game fatigue might be coming in. Both these players have been running around the court, pushing each other around. Wow, like that doesn't look good. The leg just failed. Remember, she was a little bit of pain on that leg. The second game. Looks fine. Looks like she's walked it off. Oh. 
No, she's definitely got limited mobility now. Tunjung couldn't reach for that shot. Seven, oh, that's a great disappointment. Seven one. It's moving very gingerly. That's gone out, but still, I'm not really that convinced with her movement in that point. Seven. That left leg, that thigh heavily taped since the start, obviously, but a couple of times now we've seen it strained. Things rapidly falling apart. Well, regardless of any limited mobility, she's putting her faith in all out shot making. gone long and so far winning some points off it and again it's another mistake Five, well maybe she's walked it off a little Still see her tundering misses, not moving around as much as she'd like to. And it's just a string of mistakes from Han Yu all of a sudden. She was 8 3 up. Six, six eight. win a cross court from Han Yu. It's again full stretch for Tunju. She's definitely feeling a bit of, of a pinch on the leg, but it seems to be working. Oh, great recovery. Great rally. Just clips the top of the net. Han Yu. With a four point lead again, starting to score points once more. 10 6 in the third, and approaching the third and final mid game interval. That's him. Anu looks to the skies, but she doesn't challenge.
So 11-7 in the mid-game interval. So here we go. Second half of the third and deciding game between these two ladies that have put on quite a show today in the quarterfinals. Oh, how did you miss that? Well, He's sitting up so nicely for him. a beautiful drop shot much like the ones we saw from her in the first game have a look at the angle on this <laughs> brilliant again from Gregoria Tunjum She's getting up. Yeah. Now, Yu comes away with that 14 8. She needs another seven points. And she's into the semi finals. And that really would be a great start for her 2023 season after the defeats to Yamaguchi and Tai Tzu Ying in India and Malaysia. So a six point lead. It's gonna have to work for each one of these points. But she's on the right track. Oh, 
shot. Great shot by Han Yu. That's a beautiful shot. But it's battered. What a rally. It's left Han Yu just laid out on court. Look at this. This was a great shot. Oh, I thought it would just pick up just beforehand, but that final shot was just perfection from Tunjum. So she's made it to double digits. She's cut that lead down to four. And ideally, she's going to want to have to, to hold her new at 14, tie it up at 14 apiece, and then make a run for 21. Important points also for Han Yu, of course. She can win the next two or three. It's high. Oh, that's wonderful. Tunjun was nowhere near it. Absolutely Ten. clear space to hit that into. seen some great rallies from these two ladies. Tinjin now within three points of tying it up. Great winner down the line from Han Yu. She puts that lead back up to four. It's now five points away from the match. A mistake that gives up 17-11. Wow, well, great effort from both ladies. It's a shame that one of them has to be eliminated. Mistake. Well, battling fatigue, possibly some pain in the leg. A hard shot to pull off. And it was a good idea. But now at 18-11, everything is in the hands of Hanyu. Oh, she's got to put that wide. <laughs> got enough of a buffer, you think? another one I think the 
sheer effort of this match beginning to show on Gregoria Mariska Tunjum. Nineteen twelve. of those drop shots all match and Kunja really remarkable but still Anu has a decent enough buffer here six points she needs two to get into that semi-final with Carolina Marin they've been on court now for 61 minutes Not giving up the ghost just yet. Great winner. Oh, that's wide. So with that mistake Han Yu with six match Let points one last effort not that one saved one Still much to do here for Tunjung if she's going to steal this. That's another one saved. Well, it's just going to come down to a challenge. That we've ever waited so long for a challenge. Here it is. And that's out. That's fully out. So, two down, four to go in terms of saving match points. Hanyu has prevailed 21 16 in the third after a great effort from Gregoria Tunjung. Hanyu goes through to the semi finals to face Carolina Marin, and it really was a mammoth match for both of them, but both of them showed some great skill that first game was all about Tunjung the second game was all about Han Yu the third game just delivered in terms of both of them And there's confirmation of that score, 
Well, hello and uh, welcome to a very raucous Istora Sanayan. That's because we had Indonesians in all three courts. And unfortunately, all three have lost. So time to regain some national pride here. Hopefully, as far as Indonesian fans are concerned, when the number one men's doubles pair, Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Rian Ardianto, take on Liu Yuchen and Oshuan Yi of China, the fifth seeds.